A special show of support for graduating seniors today in West Charlotte. Staff at Philip O'Berry had a parade for the students as they picked up their caps and gowns and were able to have a quick conversation. And of course, it's a tough time for everybody, but especially for those graduating seniors, you know, they've looked forward to graduation ceremonies their whole life. Yeah, and they've worked so hard. Our education reporter Elsa Gillis is live at Philip O'Berry right now. Elsa, they don't know yet what graduation is going to look like. No, Erica, they don't. That is still up in the air across our area right now. But those caps and gowns that students have been waiting their whole lives to put on, as we saw here today, that is still happening. Um, it's been a pretty emotional morning. Lots of kids coming through with tears, laughing, lots of videos. It's great. It wasn't a graduation ceremony or the typical cap and gown pickup, but these, of course, are atypical times. We're doing the best that we can to make sure that they get the cap and gowns that they paid for long ago um, and make it as exciting as possible for them. Under masks today were the smiles of teachers proud of their soon to be graduates of Philip O'Berry Academy of Technology. With shiny gold balloons, signs and cheers, they handed out their caps and gowns drive through style for a ceremony that is still very much up in the air. We just wanted to make it as special as possible for them. Um, we wanted to celebrate them as seniors. Um, a lot of us teachers, you know, we haven't seen our kids at all since, you know, mid-March. So it's pretty emotional for us to be able to see them as they drive through. As a graduation task force works through graduation ceremony alternatives and options, this week, CMS seniors and their families should be getting a survey to provide input. Officials have said they are committed to finding a safe and healthy way to celebrate students. And the teachers are committed more than ever to showing their students how proud they are of this milestone. And you've worked so hard and like, I love you and your staff loves you and just keep your head up and keep pushing. You've gotten this far, it's only up from here. Now, as results from that survey come back, I'm told the task force will present final recommendations to the CMS Board of Education. And Erica, I know how important this is to parents, grandparents, students, siblings out there. So as soon as we learn more about plans, I will be sure to pass that along. Yes, it will certainly be memorable for all the family members. And those kids have worked so hard. We're very proud of them. Thank you, Elsa.